Come, take a walk with me. Welcome to the Marina District in downtown San Diego. Nestled in the southwest corner of the city, the Marina District is arguably one of the best located neighborhoods in all of downtown. Within 10 minutes, you could be cruising on your yacht, grabbing some pasta in Little Italy, or catching a Padres game. One of the most impressive additions to the marina in recent years has been the Rady Shell. It opened in 2021 and is an architectural wonder on the edge of San Diego Bay and in the heart of downtown. Funded almost entirely by private philanthropy, the venue seats up to 10,000 concert goers and is a great spot to catch mesmerizing sunsets and performances. Six blocks and more than a million square feet of prime real estate along the waterfront, meant to be a fusion of science, arts, and culture, is expected to be a significant addition to the Marina District. It's a rad project and hopefully lives up to its name. Built in 1939 and listed on the National Register of Historic Places, the headquarters at Seaport Village was once home to the San Diego Police Department. Wandering around the headquarters, you'll see a range of specialty shops and restaurants. Along with the restaurants at the headquarters, some other spots worth checking out include the Fish Market, Top of the Market, Lion's Share, Richard Walker's for its famous apple pancake, which is worth the calories. And unlike any other penthouse bar in San Diego, the Top of the Hyatt sits on the bay's edge, capturing one-of-a-kind sunsets. For seafood lovers, every Saturday, you can buy the catch of the day from local fishermen at the open-air Tuna Harbor Market. Avoid the mess. Fish cutters will break down a whole fish for you. The military presence can be felt across our city and is evident along the Embarcadero, which features the USS Midway and the 25-foot statue known as Unconditional Surrender. The statue is modeled after a famous photo taken in 1945 of a sailor kissing a stranger in Times Square to signify the end of World War II. The installation was only supposed to be temporary, but after a million dollars was raised, the now permanent statue has a new name and has been changed to Embracing Peace. Honoring civil rights leader Martin Luther King, the MLK Promenade connects a number of sites along San Diego's waterfront and ends in the Marina District at Market and West Harbor Drive. Along the six block path, you can read some of Dr. King's inspirational messages engraved on 30 plaques. Adjacent to the MLK Promenade, you'll find the new Children's Park and Museum. The $9 million park got a major upgrade and now includes a play area, picnic tables, exercise equipment, and an off-leash dog park with a pond. Your backdrop is the Convention Center, which is a major economic engine for our city. The Convention Center is expected to bring in $1.5 billion in 2024. The number of events and conventions in recent years has ranged from around 80 to 100 a year, with Comic-Con being the biggest bringing in $164 million this year. The Citrus Soap Factory became one of the largest brick buildings on the West Coast back in 1921. Locally produced lemon juice was a major ingredient to make the soap. After gaining historical designation, the building was repurposed into a 13-story section of city front terrace condos in the marina. Wondering what it costs to live in the marina district? Under half a million dollars gets you into the neighborhood and the most expensive condo for sale right now is almost six million dollars. Hi, I'm Koshal Patel with Sellers Corner. If you're looking to move to downtown or in any other neighborhood in San Diego, why not work with a local area expert and start the conversation today?